Set the bar stories, Kelly. Uh, examples of what not to do or situations we hope you don't find yourself in. Listen, if you can manage to make it through the day without stealing over $200,000 worth of dimes, you're doing okay. Oh, wow. That's a lot of dimes. Where did we find so many dimes? In an unmarked truck, like semi-truck, that was parked in a parking lot um, there in Philadelphia. It was carrying seven and a half million dimes, which... Carry the one, do the math, add the zero. That's a lot. About $750,000. Wow. So, in just dimes? Yeah, Interesting. In just dimes. Apparently, they, they were they were being transported. But anyways, uh, the thieves were able to get away with around 2 million dimes, which are around $200,000. But it could have even been more because... It's taking a lot of time to count the dimes. Yeah, they're going to need to call in like <laughs> those coin star machines or something, right? Right, right. Just pour right. it into the machines because like nobody's going to be able to be like, all right, one, one two, two, three. And hey, do you remember where that? Dang it. I got to start over again. You know, and someone then, comes in and interrupts you. You can't. Yeah. And then a jokester walks through and goes, 16, 75, 102. Aww. And you're like, dang it. I got to start again. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so the driver, I guess, parked there in the lot just to go to sleep because they need their sleep. That, exactly. that happened while it was unattended overnight. Now, I, it's unmarked, so it's unclear whether or not the thieves knew what was inside. It's, well, you know, it could have just been somebody scrounging around and, like, happening upon it. Unless it's an inside job. Well, yeah, because the thieves made out with more than 10,000 pounds of dimes, if you consider each dime weighs around 2.3 grams. You would need something to be able to transport 10,000 pounds, would Did you they not? they have another truck? Right, exactly. Wow. So if the thieves didn't know what was inside, would 7.5 million dimes be a good surprise or a bad one? I mean, good surprise, but then you have yes. the conundrum of, well, how do we... Well, how but, do we but transport then, our find? But then, are you paying for everything? Because, like, dimes, that's probably going to be hard to trace, right? Because probably. Because it's just, de- it, it, like, it's not like paper money. So, how, are you, know, you just they gonna, all have serial numbers on them. Are you just going to start paying for everything in dimes? I mean... Uh, like you go, my, you want to buy a nice stainless steel refrigerator and no, <laughs> you roll I think, up with a shopping cart full of dimes. I think you go to Kroger, you pour it in the coin star, you get some some bills out of that. Uh, and okay. then you go pay for stuff. You Maybe. live your best life. So now, Kelly, are you suggesting uh, to the criminals on how they can get away with this Scott clean? I'm just trying to work through the logistics Okay, in my mind. I'm not trying to help, per se, just trying to understand. Mm. All right, so again, setting the bar uh, to the criminals listening, Uh it's going to be hard to conceal the fact that you are trying to unload $200,000 worth of dimes. Someone may stop and ask, hey, where'd you get all those dimes? And it might be like, whoa. Been collecting them, Grandma sent them. Yep, just been saving them since I was a baby. (laughs) Since I was a baby. (laughs) My piggy bank's real big. I started early with my collection. Uh, so, again, if you can manage to make it through the day without doing that, you're yeah. doing okay. Okay, good note. Yep, that's good your note. setting the bar story.